A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak, he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, O bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O bless the Lord, my soul. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection What kind of yoke does Jesus have in mind for us? And how can it be good for us? The Jews used the image of a yoke to express submission to God. They spoke of the yoke of the law, the yoke of the commandments, the yoke of the kingdom, the yoke of God. Jesus says his yoke is easy. The Greek word for easy can also mean well-fitting. Yokes were tailor-made to fit the oxen well. We are commanded to put on the sweet yoke of Jesus and to live the heavenly way of life and happiness. Jesus also says his burden is light. There's a story of a man who once met a boy carrying a smaller crippled lad on his back. That's a heavy load you are carrying there exclaimed the man. He ain't heavy, he's my brother, responded the boy. No burden is too heavy when it's given in love and carried in love. In Advent we celebrate the coming of the messianic king who ushers in the reign of God. Jesus offers us a new kingdom of righteousness, peace, and joy. In his kingdom sins are not only forgiven but removed, and eternal life is poured out for all its citizens. This is not a political kingdom, but a spiritual one. The yoke of Christ's kingdom, his kingly rule and way of life, liberates us from the burden of guilt and from the oppression of sin and hurtful desires. Only Jesus can lift the burden of sin and the weight of hopelessness from us. Jesus used the analogy of a yoke to explain how we can exchange the burden of sin and despair for a burden of glory and yoke of freedom from the grip of sin. 
The yoke which Jesus invites us to embrace is his way of grace and freedom from the power of sin. Do you trust in God's love and submit to his will for your life?